and welcome to Marshall's Motion Stuff. If you're new here today, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and give a thumbs up to help support the channel. And with all that said, today I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys, and it is brand new, and I am super excited to be sharing it with you today. Also, lost my glasses, so I have these on that did come from the Dollar Tree as well. So there are those, and I'm sure you've all seen them. But let's go ahead and dive in. And I do have a teeny tiny little uh, review as well as a tiny little Target haul too. Just two items that I picked up from Target. So let's start with the Target Yes, so from Target, I picked up the shelf. Look how cute that is. So industrial farmhouse, I think. And let me know your thoughts in the comment box below if you agree or disagree or how you feel about that. But this, you guys, and it says wall shelf, and it does have the hanger so that you can hang it up, was only $5. So there is that one love it it is super cute actually my friend nikki had it and i commented on it and she was like girl i got that at target for five bucks and i was like no way i've got to get me one of those so i went there yesterday and today is the 23rd yes Sorry, my TV just splashed, so I do apologize. And it's early morning here because I just can't sleep, you guys. So, with that being said, I also picked up this one set um, string art kit that you spell out family. And it has everything that you need to make it here, and the family, and the instructions. And it was only $3 as well. These were all found in the Bullseye Target spot. So if you're familiar with the Bullseye Playground, it's when you first walk in and all items are $5 or less. So that's what the Bullseye Playground is. I'm so sorry, my dog just paces and does the weirdest things when I film. It's so odd. And now that is it from Target. And I have been going to Hobby Lobby because they've had their ribbon on sale as well as their paper packs. And oh my goodness, you guys, ribbon for as cheap as $2 to $3, 2 to $50. Paper, big paper packs that would normally cost $21 for like 11 bucks. Just super amazing deals that they rotate. So if you did not know that, I did not know that about the ribbon. So if you did not know that, you now do and you're armed with that information. So let me continue on. I do have a review. <clears throat> this is the Bolero. So this is a review of the Bolero. This is the Shimmering Body Lotion Mist. So that's what that one looks like. This is the Reviving Eucalyptus. This smells really, really good. And I used it after I showered this morning. It kind of leaves her skin feeling a little tacky, like a little sticky. It could also be where I live. It's super humid here, so it could be that as well. Maybe it's not this. Maybe it's, you know, where, where I live and the humidity level. But after it does seep down into your pores... It leaves your skin feeling very soft. And I think for a dollar, you, you can't beat it. You know, treat yourself. And again, it smells good on top of it does work. And I feel like it gets down deeper where it's a spray than the ones that you just apply that are kind of like a top cream, if you will. That's what I call it. So that's my review on that. I definitely think it's worth a dollar. Um, I picked up two. Would I pick it up again? Not right now. You know, maybe in the future if they come out with another one, I would. And then the Clarifying Facial Moisturizer by Bolero as well. 
So that's what that one looks like. Love the packaging. This is a three fluid ounces. And this one is the rose water and green tea. And I picked this one up because I love doing facial routine. Again, anything I can do to stay looking younger, I'm definitely all about that. And you guys, I used it this morning after I used my toner and my face, my skin feels so smooth. I don't know if it reflects in the camera or not, but definitely worth a dollar. Would definitely repurchase this. Kind of sad that I picked up two of these and just one of these. Wish I had done it the other way around and picked up two of these and one of these. But that's how much I like it. So if you see it, I highly recommend it. Now, these are just my opinions only. So if you disagree or you feel differently, comment below. Would love to hear because I've done review videos before, a full video, and I do plan on doing one of those. Again, coming up very soon. Just wanted to throw in those couple of items while they were kind of on my mind, if you will. But if you feel differently, I've had you guys comment and say they don't work great for this, but they do work great for that. And by you telling me that, I have been able to save myself money and not have to just say, well, let me see who I can give this to, you know. So with all that said, thank you. I appreciate your feedback so much, and I do look forward to to reading your comments and what you guys have to say. Also, um, just two more reviews and that is it and we'll be done. But uh, my friend from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, Marina, had, had mentioned how to put on these sassy and chic nails. And I did another set, didn't think I would because they kept breaking and they kept chipping. And I was like, nope, that's it. These have been on for a full 24 hours now and they have not chipped anywhere once i learned and this one's kind of self-explanatory because the tips it's a french tip but this part if it's a solid color it's hard to tell but the squishy side goes up in your cuticle and the hard side goes down here to be your nail so if you did not know that, that is amazing. And thank you to Marina over at Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict for letting me know because I was about to give up on these things. I was about to call it a write off and just not fool with it anymore. And I cut them down to size. So I did buff them down a little bit. Also, Nona Grace mentioned that you can use doll nail trimmers to trim these down. That's a great idea. And again, wonderful, excellent feedback that I do love to hear. And the last thing that I want to review today is this Glitterati. So I am currently wearing it. I don't know if you can see it. The lighting might be turned up too bright, but it is the Glitterati. Now you guys, I am so blind. I cannot even read what it is. It's number 1326, but that is what it looks like. That's the color. I'm I'm going to call it a golden, just golden glamour. <laughs> I don't know, but it is beautiful, you guys. Question, is this a lipstick or an eyeshadow? Because I put it on my eyes. So if you guys tell me that it's a lipstick, I'm going to have a cow. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I literally put lipstick on. But it worked. Because, check it out, you guys. I am going to swatch this one for you. That is what it looks like on. And then once it dries, it dries to like a powder. But... It's like it has a setting spray in it. So I, I'm not very good at swatching, but you can kind of see there what it looks like. So very nude color palette, 
but I do love it because it gives you a little bit of glitz and glam without going total face on. And with that being said, you guys, let's keep trekking on because I haven't showed you much and we're already at 10 minutes. But I did pick up these dishes. So, because I have been helping my daughter get her apartment set up and I gave her the sunflower ones. So, I got these, the marble ones. How pretty are these? These are brand new, just found them, I believe yesterday. It was definitely within the past 48 hours that I found these, but I just got two, two of each, and they're quite heavy. I feel like the bowls are a tiny bit bigger than they were the last go around, but maybe that's just me. And then I also did pick up two of the salad plates. So here are those. They are so, so, so pretty. I absolutely love the marble on them. And then I got two of the plates. So two, two, and two. And you can't beat that when you think about it. Two, four, six, and I have a setting for two people for under $10. That is why I absolutely love, love, love the Dollar Tree. Let me set those to the side. But yes, that's why I love the Dollar Tree because we have literally furnished her apartment on dishes and glasses using the sunflowers. Really cute. Did her whole kitchen in sunflowers. I made some DIYs I passed on to her as well. And we don't have that much money in it. I mean, honestly, we really, really don't. And typically, it's expensive when you first start out. Also, they had the utensils. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So these have the marble handles on them. So they didn't have, these were going quite quickly and this was the third time I had seen them. So I was like, wow, I'm seeing all the dishes. I better grab those. So this one's slotted, this one's not, they're both spatulas, and then this one's a ladle, which is perfect for the air, air fryer that I just got from Sam's Club. So there are those. And then also, you guys, this is in no particular order. It usually isn't, and if you've been around for long enough, you already know that. And you guys, I will be drawing for our 800 subscriber thank you. I will be gifting, and we want to be careful of our wording that we use, but I will be gifting to non, not affiliated with anyone or sponsored by anyone other than myself, just a token of my appreciation to reaching that milestone. So I... It, it is cut off after tonight, and once you see this video, it's already going to be done and over, and I'll probably have already recorded the drawing. So, with that being said, good luck, and thank you all so much, and please don't forget to subscribe, because once we reach 1K, we're going to be doing an epic, epic gift token of our appreciation. And I say ours, and that will be a surprise. <laughs> so, moving right along, I wanted to share these with you. I saw someone else haul them, and I was like, oh my gosh, those are too cute. And this is about the size they are. It just says decor, imported by Greenbrier. But it's the little planter with the succulent in it. How Stinking cute. Love it. Absolutely love it. Grab two of them because you can always DIY with one, but they're so stinking happy and I love that about them. So grab two of those. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to start putting back over here where it came from. Two of these because I thought you could DIY with those. 
kind of wish I had picked up another one of a different kind and I'll show you here in just a minute, but these are cute as well. Loving all the decor that comes into the Dollar Tree and it has the twine so you can go ahead, it's ready to hang. If you have this type of decor, you could easily paint this to match your decor and keep it the same, but just paint it and paint it to match your home decor. I know my daughter has a lot of natural greens and plants in her living room, so those would go amazing in her living room. Just paint it a sage green color versus that mustard yellow. And then these I thought were super cute, and you could do, that looks like a carrot to me. Just thinking outside the box, but these are little succulents as well. But like I said, trying to think outside the box, looks like a carrot. And that is what I will be doing with those. And then we have the two llamas. Couldn't leave these little babies behind. They are so cute. Love them. So picked up one of each of those. And then... Last but not least, we have the unicorn because this matches the wall decals, the wall stickers that they have, and my granddaughter's bedroom is done in that, so I picked this up for her. Kind of wish I had grabbed another because there's endless possibilities. I was thinking maybe even like, I don't know, a Rudolph. There's so many things if you look at it upside down sideways <laughs> and you crafty people know that but anyway moving along i did pick up two packs of the nylon cable ties you get 60 in these and they're half the size of the regular ones let's see they're eight inches and so you don't you're not clipping off as much and wasting them and then also grab these heavy duty suction cup hooks. You get two per pack. These are perfect for like the big wreaths and especially if you can hang it outside. I can't do that, but I do have a big bulky wreath that I do want to hang on this. It is gorgeous, but it's getting squished in between the door. And my friend Nikki made that. And if you're interested, just let me know. She has a group on Facebook and I would be happy to introduce you to her. Also, um, real quick, wanted to share with you an amazing find. I actually asked the lady, where did you get those? And she said, I opened the box check it out oh my gosh did not think i would run across these but these are the ones that look like wood you guys and i hope that you can see it i hope it's coming across clearly there you go they are beautiful so i got two of the tall ones and one of the short ones to do like a little centerpiece with them and that's what I got those for I will not be doing anything to those bad boys because I absolutely love them let me put these things that I've been using to my left so I will know when I get finished also grabbed these yay so excited grabbed two of the tall ones and again, these look like wood, and they're not real heavy like the other ones were. And one of the short again, and again to do like a little centerpiece like so. So how cute is that? These are absolutely, absolutely adorable, and I love them. So I think I'm good on pumpkins now, to be quite honest with you. That's six pumpkins right there, so that is plenty. And then I have a ton of makeup to share with you guys, but I'm gonna save it for our next haul because it, it will take too long if I share it in this haul. So I'm just gonna quickly run through with you what else I have found. 
the refresh, you get three of them by Essentials. I think it's the oh no, it's the Essential Collection Rejuvenating Ocean Breeze. I can't smell it right now, but I will let you know my thoughts on this because it's made with essential oils. It's a paper air freshener. So there's that. Also keep running across the command hooks and if the universe is gonna keep giving them to me, I'll keep taking them for $1. Can't beat it. Great deal. Also ran across these adorable little magnets. This one says, make yourself at home and do the dishes. Kitchen always open, self-serve. That is definitely here, my friend. So if you come over, feel free to do the dishes and feel free to make you something to eat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not that bad of a host. And I love this one. It's my favorite. If I have to stir it, it's homemade. And at this point in my life, that is so true. So those are absolutely adorable. And here are the three that I chose again. So there are those. Also picked up a couple more. And I said they felt like velvet, but these are actually suede makeup bags. Pink and white, they're in the color block black and white. And they have a blue and white too, just wasn't really fond of that one. Again, for the makeup at Christmas time, after the beauty thank you appreciation, subscriber appreciation. And then the blemish stickers. I haven't used them yet, but I did pick them up with the heart on them. I don't get that many breakouts, even though my hair, skin, everything is very oily. So if it gets hot and humid, it my hair automatically looks like it hasn't been washed. It gets only at the roots and just keeps on. But these are by Bolero 2, and they definitely retail for way more. And I've heard that they work well, but I will let you know my thoughts on them. Also picked up the facial wipes. And look how well those go together. Love that packaging that they did. That drew me in automatically when I saw the packaging. But these are the facial wipes. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Mara Chua Ul. Mara Chawi Ul. Machari Ul. I'm not sure. But anyway, let me know in the comments below. I, I don't know if it has hemp in it or not. But let's open it up and take a whiff of these real quick. And then we'll finish up, you guys. They smell really good. They smell good. I'm excited to use these. And again, I'll let you know, but I have some face wipes. But let's go ahead and do a little bit of makeup because I do want to start using it. Um, love this one. And was only fortunate enough to find one it's called naturally gorgeous and this palette is absolutely naturally gorgeous you guys look at those stunning colors these are the colors that i wear and these this palette flew off the shelf so i grabbed the last one they had and it had fallen behind and that's how i scored that one also, they had a few of these, and I did, um, or no, this one was one that I had found that had fallen as well. This is the Glitter Gel Palette, and it's called Center of Attention. And how pretty is that one? So again, not quite sure if I'll use this one or if it'll go, it'll probably go in the giveaway, guys, or in the, appreciation and then also something that I use today is the hard candy eyeliner it even has the sharpener on the end so you take that piece off and you have your nail sharpener or not nail sharpener your um, eyeliner sharpener and then the eyeliner is right here and here is what it looks like
and it's what I am wearing at the very moment. And then also, I did grab <clears throat> the Velvet Moose Lipstick by Hard Candy. I can't read what this one is. I don't even see numbers on this one. This one was not in a package, but that's what it looks like. Very, very pretty color for someone. So one for the giveaway and then one to keep in my stash. So let me sit those right here. And then also grab the All Matte Up, number 1783. And I'm not sure, this one's called Safari, and it's very pretty. So again, grab two, one for you, one for me. And then, I'm not sure if this is one that I already have or not, but it's number 1564, the Plumping Serum. So it is lip, lip gloss, but that is what it looks like. Again, one for you and one for me. So there are those. And I know I got two of these. Oh, yes. So the liquid cat suit. Can't remember if I have this one or not. But again, one for you, one for me. Hard candy. This is Syrup Kiss Lip Stain. Oh, it has a hair on it. I'm sorry. And that's what it's called. Coral Smooches. How cute, how pretty is that? I absolutely love this shade, but one for you and one for me, you guys. And then these were some that I could only find one of. This is the Instant Sparkle by Hard Candy. It's the Drops Just Glow Dazzling Coconut Sparkles, and that's what it looks like, and it is Heavy. You guys, this would easily retail for so much more than a dollar. If you see this, definitely grab it. And it does say instant sparkle shake well. It let's see. I'll show you that part in case you want to take a screenshot of it. Okay, so there's that one. Also, this is the um, Eyeshadow Duo by Hard Candy Glitterazzi number 1541. Again, I can't see it, but that's what it looks like. And that is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I was very tempted to use it today, but I knew I was going to record and I just was a little intimidated. But that is not at all what I thought it was going to be. And now, I kind of wish I had done a smoky eye. How pretty is that? And that's just one side. And let's watch the other side. Oh, very pretty. So that is more blue. So one side is more blue and the other side's more gray. But how gorgeous is that? Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then you guys almost finished with makeup and then we'll call it a day. But um, this one is also the Velvet Mousse by Hard Candy, the Cashmere Silk. And I just found these in droves. So I grab one every time I see it. Again, for the appreciation. And this is Hard Candy, the Marilyn Monroe Glitter Liquid Eyeliner, long, long wearing, long lasting serum. Can't wait to try it out. And I love Marilyn Monroe. So I'm so looking forward to this one. This was another one that had fallen behind the shelf and I was only able to get one of. Um, this one's called Birthday Suit and I love it. It had fallen behind as well and I was able to grab one of it but birthday suit and it's 890 and 1304. I believe this one is my all time favorite, you guys. And let me know below what is your favorite one, if you have a favorite. 
And then we have this palette as well by Hard Candy. And this one, I can't see, but it's $13.81. I can't see the name of it, but I love the highlighter in that one. So that is it, you guys. And I hope that you saw something in today's haul that you like, that you enjoyed. Um, I have some calendars to share. And guess what? I'm going to be having a calendar gift. Yes, sponsored by me. And until that video, I will see you in the next one for our drawing for our 800 subscriber appreciation. So until then, I will see you guys then. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Thanks for watching.